Hey guys, so this is a Chinese mouse. It's the TR. I don't even know. There's so many names for like the Chinese mice. Anyway, you have a bunch of buttons here. Scroll wheel. So as like an outside, as an outside view, this looks like a really good mouse. This looks like a really good mouse. You know, you got a bunch of buttons. It looks very comfortable. It actually feels nice too, if I might add. Uh, it, is a, it is a little bit awkward to move around though. That's the only thing because it is a little bit heavy. It's because it's a pretty big mouse. I, I do have big hands for, um, my hands are pretty big, I guess. And um, this is a big mouse compared to the, this is the mouse I use now. This is like, a, this is a cheap mouse and I just, I find it to be the best value for the money, but um, I'm not gonna buy another mouse until this one breaks. So for now, I'm just going. I'm, I use this one pretty much for everything. Very basic mouse, very easy to use. Buttons are perfect. I'm just so used to it. You know, I've been using this for already six, seven years already, and it's still working great. So back to this mouse. Anyway, I decided I wanted to open it up. I want to see what's inside because I did take a look at some of the Logitech mice out there on YouTube and just pictures of the internals of it and I wanted to see what's inside so I already took out the screws and the way to actually do that was I just removed some of the stickers here which are covering the screws there's one right here so you got one screw there and then two screws there and this is a latch right there and then maybe if I can do it now in one shot, I'm going to try to remove this. There we go. So I already removed the screws as I said before. That is that little magnifier for the laser. Try to get a better focus on that. And again, I did, I don't know if I said this before, but I paid $8 for this, 8 or $9 for this mouse. And that is a really cheap, that's a cheap price for a mouse with, let's see how many buttons does this thing have. This has one. Two, three, four, five. Five buttons plus the DP oh plus the wheel, push button, and the DPI. So for a five button mouse with the DPI switch for sensitivity and the wheel, that's a pretty good price. But it's only a good price if this actually works, if you get good value from this mouse. Which I wouldn't really say that you do because I know I made I did make a review video a long time ago stating that this mouse is really good. I didn't really use it back then and I I did try to use it a few times and found that it wasn't a good mouse. It's just very um very inaccurate. It wouldn't the optical sensor in there is just not as good. So anyway, I wanted to take a look at some of the internals. So let me just cut to the chase. So that is the wheel there. Try to get a nice focus on there. There we go. So that is the wheel. And I can actually remove that without breaking anything, hopefully. It came out easy, a lot easier. There we go. Okay, so that's out. That's the wheel. I keep having to, to focus this camera. Hey, here you have the buttons. I'm actually gonna harvest these buttons on the mouse. I'm gonna take a solder, a heat, or heat gun, heat these little metal, these uh, lead points right there, and just remove these buttons because these buttons do. You could replace some mouse buttons. So if I did have a faulty mouse button here, I think that these are the same buttons that are in most mice. Now I don't know if they're the exact same in terms of materials quality but I'm definitely going to check that out to see because I know there's different sensitivity for different buttons so I'm just I wonder if they're the same ones that you purchase off eBay I mean they do feel really cheap the click is just very easy to move as opposed to as opposed to this and focus in there so that is it that is a click and then that is a soft click. So you got the buttons there, you have the LEDs. And to be honest, I don't know how they make this thing so cheap. I mean, obviously the parts are subpar. They're not 
they're not as good as if you would buy yourself a Logitech MX, one of those MX gaming mice, or, or even one of those Razer mice. Like if you look at the, the boards within a Razer mouse, if you look at the internals, they have two boards and they have all these wire connections. And this is just one simple board. Everything is connected. And yeah, it does look very simple, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's that it's uh, as good. If anything, it, it doesn't look as good as if you would open up a Logitech mouse and look at the internals there. So transistors, resistors, capacitors. Let's actually take a look at some of these. They're probably really cheap. If I can focus this camera properly. Let me try to focus this camera properly. Let's switch the light source. There we go. There is, there's probably the, um, the sensor. Very cheap parts. I mean, technically, if you think about it, if you do, if you really do need a five or six button mouse for gaming, let's say you play a lot of games, one of those MMORPGs, and maybe that would work. But if you're playing a lot of FPS, first person shooters, then you really need that accuracy. And I definitely wouldn't recommend a mouse like this one of these cheap Chinese mouse that you get off AliExpress or even Amazon and they have so many different names this one for instance it's called TR but that's the mod if you look at the model if you can get the model number for each mice for each mouse that you want to purchase for any of the mouse or the mice if you type that in Google you could actually find out what other names that the model or the the brand that you're buying what other models, uh, what other brand names it's going under. Because a lot of these Chinese mice, they're just rebranded, rebranded, uh, I don't want to say junk, but rebranded uh, mice. They're rebranded and they're sold, but they do have the same, they still do have this, a lot of them still do have the same model name. Gaming grade sensor, no, I don't think so. So there's another button right there. We have the LEDs. Mouse does look good, feel good, but the internals, it's all, it's all about the internals, guys. If you have these nice, nice uh, ergonomic feeling to the mouse, and you got the fancy LED flashlights in the back and the front, but you have shitty internals, then you're not going to have a good time. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to show you as the bottom part, so the bottom part is you do have a weight right here. This is just a weight, an added weight, so that it does weigh down the mouse. So when you're using it, now you will see these. Some of these uh, these Logitech mice also have weights, but they can be removed and inserted on the bottom. But this is one of the cheaper mice, and then you have the wire here, which is does feel like a high quality. Uh, wire, but again, it's all about what's inside and these wires look really really flimsy and cheap They're very They feel very cheap There I just ripped it. It's pretty easy Just get a focus there wire looks really nice Even the USB part right there Looks professional it looks good, but it's all about what's inside. It's a nice cloth material to the wire. Anyway, I just want to show you guys though that the internals of this. Maybe I can try to zoom into one of these capacitors for you. Try to zoom in there. I'm gonna to switch. I'm gonna put at a direct light source. Maybe I can get. There we go.
There we go. And that is from the light source. Just trying to give you guys a nice close up of it. So I'm, again, I'm probably going to harvest these buttons right there. Definitely will come in handy. And the reason why I did um, open it up is because I did want to see the difference between this and uh, one of the Logitech mice, which um, I didn't see online. But I am planning on buying one after my mouse right here. This one breaks. After this Microsoft mouse, uh, mouse breaks, that's it. I'm probably going to get myself one of those fancy MX gaming mice. All right, well, that is going to be it for this video. And that is me opening up one of the cheap Chinese mice that you get off AliExpress or even Amazon, eBay. All right, guys. Catch you in my next video.